ایرانیان متلار این دوم از گیل ایرانی یا کنوس Strawberry grape, a new variety that I'm trying this year. Pear variety Concord. This is the second year and it is giving fruit. Last year it gave eight beautiful, delicious, sweet, aromatic fruits. This year it seems it's going to break. It's the only part. This is the plum variety blue tint. In a way, it's similar to the Victoria plum. And it's very vigorous. I bought this tree from the Blackmore Nursery. It's the second year. It has some reasonable amount of fruits. As you can see, I'm looking forward. Last year I did a summer pruning, and the result of it is these fruits and the branches now. I will do another summer pruning, probably in just two weeks, three weeks time.
This is Discovery. The apple variety called Discovery. It gives the one of the best early fruits apples that I can recommend. Last year, this one didn't give me any fruit, but the other one gave four fruits. Delicious. Beautiful skin, beautiful taste, juicy, and uh, with a tinge of a strawberry taste. Chemistry of the plants are similar, so no surprise some of them remind us in fragrance and taste another variety of the plants. This is my favorite yellow red cherry. It's called Mertong Glory. It's named after a, a horticultural station of the Royal Horticultural Society. Merton was one of the directors, I think. Anyway, the size of the cherries. Today we had a hailstorm. This is the ice falling from the sky. And the bird net <laughs> took most of the <laughs> pressure from that. We didn't have much damage to the leaf. Even the leaves, I can say, are not damaged at all. That bird net is freaking good. I like what I have done. Yeah, this size of the cherries is the uh, 19th of the May, and look at the size of the cherry. They're really swollen. They're real grown large. And these are the woods that are new now. Next year, these ones will give me also some fruit. So I'm really happy it's pushing out the cherry. Really delighted with this Merton Glory. I've ordered another one similar to this. We will see how it will do. This is a plum. The name of the variety is Opal. Again, similar to Victoria plum, which is a famous plum in the England, in the United Kingdom. And as you can see, is already swollen. They are growing big. No damage to the leaf because of the hailstone. And I can say that Opal, about two to three weeks, ripens earlier than the Victoria. My Victoria at the moment is very small, my Victoria uh, plum. So I'm looking forward to have some of this. I planted more than 120 fruit trees and fruit bushes in this allotment over the past 15 months. The result of this is the orchard that you see with the polytunnel, which was built on the same year. And uh, this is a mini tour of our allotment. This is apple variety called um, Winter King or Winston. That's very aromatic blossom. One of the most aromatic, beside the discovery, this is one of the most aromatic. Probably even more aromatic than the Winston, than the discovery. The smell of it is lovely. And I'm really happy with this tree now. Look, it has given some leaves. I was worried that they're not growing. Even some growth of the branches here. It is going to do well. I may have even some apples. It's a late apple, so it will, it will be ready in late October, November. And it, it keeps up to the next year, 2016. Hopefully we will have some of these fruits this year. If you don't have any, not a big deal. Next year yet, we can have. A little damage to the aphid, due to the aphids here. But uh, just superficial. If I try to open it, probably I can. I will do it when my uh, camera is off. The sun is now setting. I was working to preparing another bed. 